Hey guys, so I haven't really vlogged at all today. Um, but first things first, as you can tell, I am in a room full of files because I am at work it's Saturday. Also, another thing, I'm very, very sorry about the late uploads with the Vlogtobers recently. It's just ever since I went to New Orleans, things just been back up, but I'm trying to make sure that I can get them up as soon as possible because you know, I mean, they should be up by the time you see this video, but I'm trying to make sure that I have, like, them up on time from now on. I know I said that in the last few, but things have been popping up, work, things been changing, so I'm trying to do them as fast and as soon as possible because I know it's probably really annoying that I'm not uploading them on time, and I didn't mean for it to turn out like this, um... It's just this year, a lot of things are busy. But enough explaining with that. As you guys saw, we went to have some ramen. Um, I went with my coworker and my sister. We went there to kind of treat my sister to a late birthday, um, like lunch out. Um, and now I'm back at work just doing some last minute stuff for this week. Um, and then I'm about to head home in like half an hour because I'm tired and exhausted. Um, the day before this one and end the vlog at all and i'm sorry about that but i ended up go meeting my friend at their house because they had clothes that i was picking up that they were giving away so i just went through the, the clothes and i took some of them with me and i also went to h&m today and i think i'm going to show you guys what i got when i get home because i don't really want to put them in like in a haul video because i don't know when i'm going to be buying any more items i mean i have one item coming that i'm really excited about but it's from Top Shop, and I don't know when it's gonna get here, so I'll show you that when that comes. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the H&M stuff when I get home later. But right now, I'm just sitting here, just finishing up my little daily stuff. Um, my sister, my coworker, already left like an hour or so ago. But yeah, it's really, really cold outside today. I was super surprised. Um, it was. 48 degrees this morning and I'm just wearing a freaking like sweater and that's it so I'm was very cold but I think now it kind of got a little bit warmer out but it's gonna dip right back down probably when I'm on my way home because it's already late but yeah it was crazy I wasn't really expecting it it's kind of I was cold I definitely was um but yeah uh tomorrow I'm also gonna be going to see a star is born because i heard a lot of good things about it but then i also heard a lot of people say that it wasn't that great like they've heard that it wasn't great they didn't actually see it so i don't know i'm having good hopes for it it's not really a movie i would pick to choose but i keep seeing the trailer everywhere so i'm like might as well just go see it so i'm gonna be seeing that tomorrow morning with my cousin and my sister so hopefully that should be fun and I'm gonna see if my cousin wants to help me film an outfit tomorrow, one of my fall outfits, for this lookbook that I want to do already. But I'll see if I'm up for it and if it's not too cold because I don't want to be outside for too long. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just gonna finish up some more stuff and then I'll see you guys when I get home. <music> Hello children, so I just got back home as you guys can tell um, and I wanted to show you guys the goodies that I got. I just finished eating a cup of noodles which is so bad because I had ramen today and I ate more ramen. But who can have enough ramen? Um, so I went to H&M as I told you guys and before I left work today, I know I heard like a beeping noise outside the door and I was like what is that? It sounds very familiar. So when I was leaving, there were two packages waiting. One of them was mail for my office, and then the other one was my goodie from Topshop. So I'm happy that it came super fast. So first I'm gonna show you the H&M stuff because that was just like an unplanned trip and I didn't mean to spend any money 
today on clothes but I'm gonna show you guys I didn't get a lot of stuff it's just things that I pointed out or that popped out at me that I just thought I really wanted so let's jump right into this mini haul so the first thing I got are a pair of pants now I saw ones that look exactly like this and I actually had them in my hand and they were like a crop style wide leg which I really really liked because I could have wear like boots with them like especially my sock boots that I got from H&M because it would kind of show at the ankle a little bit but they were like 39 bucks and I didn't want to spend that much on a pair of pants from H&M sorry but it was a little bit too much for their quality um but when I went upstairs to their second level which is more of their like casual clothes or like their divided um brand I found these ones that look exactly similar but way cheaper these were only 18 bucks so I'm kind of happy with that price point but they're just these like plaid or checked um pants and they're an elastic waistband I got them in a four because the six I'm usually a six but the six waistband look kind of big and I want it to fit kind of at my waist a little bit I don't want it to be saggy since it doesn't have any belt loops or anything but I just went with the four it still looks like it'll fit me fine in the legs hopefully because I want it to still have that little bit of baggy look but I don't want the waist to be like all the way down to my ankles um but it just has this little button on it this little button uh black button to tighten it um does it have pockets it doesn't have pockets the other one did so that's the difference between the quality but that's okay with me and then the legs just go all the way down you can also um cup the legs if you want to it just looks like that same print on the inside which is great and they're really nice like I do like the quality it's not the best but it still works for me and I can even wear it with like this sweater I'm wearing right now tuck in a turtleneck or something it can work with a lot of stuff so I'm really happy that I picked this up and I found a dupe for it in the same exact store which is weird the next thing I got I actually had a different one um in my hand but it was like $12.99 and this was only $9.99 and I like this color way more the other one um well it's a hat but the other one was like a light gray like pebble color and I also got a scarf that I was gonna get to match it but I'm like am I gonna wear this hat and scarf every single day I want to get something that I know I can always wear a lot so I put back the scarf and the hat I didn't end up getting another scarf but I got this hat instead and I always want a hat this color and this is just a beanie that is a mustard yellow color now it's gonna look pretty stupid with my hair but I'm still gonna show you guys I don't know why I sounded really weird just now I'm gonna show you guys how it looks so I just love these beanies I mean it wouldn't look too bad on my curly hair but if I'm wearing this in the winter with my hair curly or like wavy or whatever I don't know if it's gonna look right because when I take it off I'm gonna look stupid like I do now but this was only 10 bucks I could find it cheaper somewhere but I just wanted to get this one because it's just calling my name and I love this color a lot so happy I picked that up and the last two things from H&M's are accessories I do like their accessories a lot they have a lot of unique pieces that they're coming out with lately um one of which is this ring that I got from there recently it's just this gold like bubble ring I don't know but um of course their jewelry is cheap not really price point I mean it's decent but the jewelry quality is cheap so I mean it lasts me a while but it's whatever and I'll just get back to the haul okay um so I just got these like elastic looking bracelet things and I just thought they were really nice they were only six bucks and I just wanted like a nice simple bracelet you can wear just one you can wear all of them I don't know they look really cool and like great material to stretch it over your hand because I hate having to like um put on bracelets like clipping it on and, like it's so difficult when you're doing it by yourself like I always need someone to do it so these are great because they stretch and you just pull it right over your hand and it's awesome and the next thing now this was pretty pricey and that's kind of why I also put stuff back because I really wanted these I've been into rings as you guys um I've been into rings as you guys could have told I've been into rings if you guys can not tell already and I just really love these ones so I just grab them and the price I don't think it's worth it because it's I don't know but it comes with three so I kind of justify that it's worth the price maybe if it was just one of them then I probably wouldn't have gotten it for this price but this was 15 bucks which is kind of a lot for jewelry from H&M 
but I just really like these rings so I'm gonna show you guys them um they just look like this so this first one is just like this stone like this gray pebble stone color this middle one is like a fluorescent green stone like yellow and orange and it has like these two rhinestones on the end of it which is really cool and this one's like a double ring so let's see if I can focus so it has like two stones and it kind of looks like that and this kind of looks like cheetah print which I was really drawn to because of something that I got from the top shop that I thought this would like match it and even the other ones are really cool so I'm fine with the price because I do really like all of them so that's why I got it and I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of them and to make them even last longer I don't know if you guys already know but a little hack is you can paint these with nail polish clear nail polish so it kind of helps it from turning any colors or anything at least for a little bit but you can keep doing it like once you realize the nail polish is kind of chipping away but it should last like a week or so or even longer but you can just keep reapplying it and it usually wouldn't turn color that fast Okay, and for my big favorite package that I got today, that I'm so excited that it actually came today, is something in here. I almost showed you guys my address, and that would have sucked. I want to dive into it, I'm going to open it, and then I'll jump cut to the purchase. I am so happy, happy. Okay, so this I've been seeing on a lot of people's Instagrams lately, specifically people that live in the UK that I follow because I follow a lot of girls that are like bloggers in the UK just because I like that kind of fashion that they wear over there more than fashion here. And one of them is, uh, I think, Lissy Roddy, I believe. I think that's her name. And Tasha Green recently had this bag in an Instagram post that she posted. And I don't think it's the exact same one because this is a little bit of a different like color, but it still works. I still like it. But it is this leopard print bag. And I just love this. Like it's so cozy. It feels like a teddy bear. The strap is just a perfect length, can still be held under your arm just fine. I would even wrap this around my head like a freaking fanny pack. I don't even care. Like I'm going to do the entire hype beast thing. It feels well made. It was, I believe, 52 bucks, which was quite a lot, but I know it'll last long because I know a lot of top shop stuff lasts a while. It looks like great hardware, really thick. It just looks like this. It kind of has like a pink color to it, but I'm fine with that. And that's fine. But it's a really good size. I really like it. You can carry it in your arm like that if you want to. Um, so this flap just opens on the top. You just lift it up. And then there's a zipper, so that's great that it has a zipper as well. You don't just have to like open it and have your stuff flying out. But the zipper just opens like that, really nice zipper. And then inside, you have quite a lot of space. So there's a little like card holder right here. And then you have another zipper behind that. And then it's this open space right here, which can fit a lot because I don't like carry a lot. I just carry like my card, my camera, um, I mean my wallet, my camera and some lipsticks and chapstick and i'm good to go so that will definitely fit all of that but i really really like this bag and i'm so happy that i got it there's a ton of more bags on top shop that i do want to get and i cannot wait like i'm really excited because because they're just really cool and i just really been into bags lately um not really luxury bags i don't think i'll ever be a luxury person i mean maybe one day in my life i'll buy a luxury bag but I just love more cool, unique style bags that are kind of funky. Like if you guys seen one of my favorites video with that red leather bag that I have with a chain, I really like like different bags like that that I can just like add to my outfit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul and I'm gonna go edit the rest of my videos. So guys, I look like a freaking weirdo with my head wrap thingy on to dry my hair. So I'm trying to cut you out the frame so you don't really see it, but I'm about to log out for the night. Um, I'm just catching up on some Estee Lalonde Vlogtober videos. Uh, and I'm going to eat some leftover vanilla ice cream and Cheetos. Very unhealthy. But yeah, also, I failed. I really failed. And you guys probably know what I'm talking about. And I'm embarrassed to say. But yes i didn't film anything on day number 12. actually 
technically I did, but I realized I didn't film anything else for the rest of the day. And when I looked into my Final Cut Pro to edit it, there were only three clips that were all like time lapses. So they were all like 10 seconds long and there was nothing to it. So I'm so sorry about that. And I feel like I just failed myself. This is only year or two and I'm already like, but it's difficult. Like it's really harder. Like it's really hard than you may think to do. Um, if you're so used to just doing your routine and just going along the day that it's hard to remember to pull out the camera and like just film it. But I'm really sorry about that. I feel like I failed myself as well and it's really annoying. But I'm trying, I'm trying, trying. It's just been hard. But hopefully like tomorrow I'm definitely going to be hanging out with my cousin so I'm going to be filming that. And also I have something next weekend to do. And then the weekend after that is Halloween, so I'll be filming that as well, which I also have to get my Halloween costume ready. But yeah, I'm going to log off for today. I'm sorry once again for that. Hope you guys understand. Um, if I had time, I would have just filmed like a quick video and just upload that, like either like a favorites video or something. But I didn't even have time for that. But I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you guys in tomorrow's. Bye.